So here's the former University of Missouri wrestler, one Tyron Woodley, first realized the UFC belt back in 2016. And this is a guy who poses a lot of different threats for this UFC welterweight division. He's a problem. He's a guy that's very tough to prepare for because he has a great wrestler background, but he has this athleticism and this ability to put your lights out with that big right hand that you cannot even focus too much on top of the takedown. Tyron Woodley is truly one of the best most in the world, one of the best fighters the UFC has ever seen. Two-time NCAA Division I All-American back in 03 and 2005. He certainly carved out a nice niche in MMA. Tyron Woodley ready to add to his legacy here tonight. on the Ultimate Fighter DC back in 2015. You got the sense very early on that Kamal Usman could be something special as he has always put it. I'm a problem. He's a champion. He's a real problem. Yes, he is a problem because he has a base of pressure that most guys can't handle. We saw it in the RDA fight. We saw it in the Wilkins fight. And because his wrestling is so smothering, as he showed in the Marais fight, the striking opportunity to open themselves up. Kamaru Usman, as you say, J.A., is a real problem for anybody at 107. He's a loyalist. He has been true to his coaches and both Grant Jones and everybody else. Kamaru Usman has realized the dream and try to take it to the next level. Our tale of the tape for this highly anticipated welterweight fight. So a more than five-year gap between these two fighters when it comes to the age, with some differences in height and a similar reach. Here's Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this fight is three rounds in the UFC welterweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. A mixed martial artist holding professional record of 19 wins, seven losses, and one draw. He stands five feet nine inches tall, weighing in at 170 pounds, Fighting out of St. Louis, Missouri, USA, Tyron, the chosen one, Woodley. And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a wrestler, holding a professional record of 20 wins, one loss. He stands six feet tall, weighing in at 170 pounds. Fighting out of Boca Raton, Florida, Kamaru, the Nigerian Nightmare, Usman! And when the action begins, our referee in charge, Herb Dean. Herb Dean draws the assignment here. Ready. Ready to fight. All right, so the fight is now underway on one side here, the fighter who does everything well. On the other side, gonna be interesting to see how long he can keep it up right. I mean, Damian Maya may be the most specialist type of grappler in the UFC. This guy resembles him in a number of ways. Let's see how he manages this fight against a guy that can do just about everything inside the outfit. Well, as Colby Covington can attest, Kamal Usman has no problem fighting on the feet for 25 minutes, but here he goes to the takedown, and it's there. It's his red butter. He has a fantastic high crotch. He grabs the legs, runs the pipe, sits you to your butt, and once you're on the ground, he smothers you with top push. Big butt lands over the top. I'm just gonna follow this one. Oh! Big shots exchanged in the pocket there. Right hand punch from the clinch. If your opponent has to get So inside the open guard of his opponent, you gotta be careful playing around for too long here on the ground with this guy. And now he has a headlock trying to pin his opponent's back down flat onto the mat. Look for him to transition to an arm triangle to try to chase the finish.
side control now, and certainly I would think more offensive options for the bottom fighter than in the half. Absolutely more offensive options, because now you can just start to get away. You can just go to a wrestler stand-up, get to your knees, close your hands, don't allow him to get his hooks in, right? Really be aware of the hooks. But get to your hands, stand up, fight the hands, break away and escape. But it's so much more free-flowing than a half guard in the side control. Because all you need to do is just get the opponent's body up because his legs are just free to move. His legs are not controlling anything. His legs are just free. So you have more freedom to use yours. All right, he's sort of hanging out here unguarded, DC. Not sure if he's trying to bait him in or what, but not great body language here. 20 seconds to go. He did a great job securing that eight, but he did not react fast enough to secure the top position. And just like that, back to a standing position. We'll see who has the advantage. Well, I'm not sure the extent to which he has recovered, but we do see the end of the round. DC, talk us through the replay. Well, he's a tough guy. He's going to make it to the stool. He's going to survive unless you put him completely out of there. Unfortunately, he's in there with a guy that does have that ability. All right, well, he's got to be happy with that previous round. Might as well be wearing a singlet after that huge takedown that really changed the complexion of this fight. Why can't we wear singlets in the octagon? That's kind of crazy stuff. I want a Reebok singlet for these guys that are wrestling, because that's all he's going to do. He's coming to grab your leg. He's coming to throw you through the air. Let's put him in a singlet next time. And it was perfect. It was absolutely perfect, John. Great placement on that upper back. Straight right. 25 total strikes have landed for Kamaru Usman. And a pretty efficient effort thus far. 62% accuracy on the strikes. Oh, he's going to slam him, DC. And he got that Whoa. single leg. He got that single leg. He lifted him in the air, and he put him down. That is some serious power to pick up another man and promptly put him in his place. Big opportunity now for him here on the ground.
see he was nearly caught in a submission there right at the end of the round, saved by the bell. So back to the stool, mentally probably not in a great place here. We'll see if he can recover and get himself back into this fight. All right, so there's the end of the round, and the tide has officially turned. A huge head strike to stun his opponent. We'll see which corner can adjust here moving forward. I mean, they've got to be celebrating. They've got to be happy. Everything's working. But the other side has to be concerned. They have to figure something out, make some sort of adjustment to try to change the tide of this fight. You ready to fight? Ready. Crowd fired up, so are we third and final round. Oh, lands a stiff punch there. Nice connection. Oh, nice land. Right hand punch from the clinch. Great timing on that double leg. Fighters back to their feet now. Very tricky to throw that body kick. His opponent got him with the clinch. He needs to break away and get back to his. Oh! Huge right hand! What a fantastic strike to throw at the exact right moment. He deserves to go finish his fight. Back to the feet. Entry to get Man, it on a single. That was a great single. Oh. He flipped the ball heads up. What a fantastic takedown. Welcome to the Cormier Express. <laughs> single collar tie now. Back and forth we go. Well, most fighters can't keep up this type of aggression and pace, but you don't have to worry about this guy. He hasn't really showed any signs of slowing down tonight. So under three minutes to go here in the fight. He's got his head. Let's see if he can secure a guillotine choke here. He's attacked guillotine. He might get a finish here. And this might just be a matter of time. Wow. Right the side control, yep. Posturing up now. And now the damage is about to start. Oh, how about the speed on that reversal there? I mean, I know you maybe an opportunity to get a choke here. Yeah, he lifts the head and goes under. Looks like he's trying to get a bulldog choke. tonight, champ. Just watch how slowly he approaches the submission line. He never rushes. He takes his time, but it's his trickiness. It's his ability to trick people into going to the floor with him that puts them in danger and finishing fights. So there he is, your winner by submission tonight, and that is how you put the rest of the division on notice. A huge result for him here tonight. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean has called a stop to this contest at four minutes, nine seconds of round number three. Declaring the winner by tap out, Tyron, the chosen one, good Well, the celebration is on in his corner, and hard to blame these guys, sort of waiting to exhale, get a huge win tonight, and not just the win, they get it by submission. They knew what they had in front of them. They knew how tough a competitor his opponent was, but they also knew that if they could get this fight to the ground, they could find a submission. They found a submission. He got his hand raised in the way that he loves the most.